Hi Pisces, this is your August monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll be checking in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the X spread. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll get you an advice for the whole month of August. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first part is a new love in August. We have uh, Temperance, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have uh, the Three of Cups, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Then we have the Hierophant in the potential outcome. We have uh, the Four of Wands with Justice and the Moon. And uh, we also have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have uh, Sagittarius, Libra, and we have you, Pisces. Perhaps you're dealing with another Pisces. Um, this feels a bit slow, to be honest with you, Pisces. <laughs> but, uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race, in this case, for sure. You're dealing with this King of Pentacles all the way to your right, on the bottom of the deck, right? The Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, um, those are energies belonging to that King of Pentacles. So, probably an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. If they're not an Earth sign, they plan things ahead. They, they plan to have things ahead anyway, because I do see them preparing for some kind of an event so they could make their move, okay? Um, temperance clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, this is like as slow as you could potentially, as you, as you can possibly think of. Temperance is a card of patience, right? With temperance, nobody is in a hurry, all right? The Knight of Pentacles clarifying that is the slowest knight out of all four knights. All right, uh, but at the same time, the Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most grounded, the most long-term knight out of all four knights, and uh, the Knight of Pentacles is um, the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. All right, and uh, here they finally come towards you. I don't know what they've been waiting for, some kind of an event or a reunion of some sort, because we have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. The Three of Cups is that event. I don't know what it is. I don't. It could be a Leo's birthday. <laughs> We're in the middle of a Leo's birthday season, right? But the Day of Cups, yeah, it could be any event or a reunion, right? A party, some kind of a gathering. Um, they could take you out to dinner in a movie <laughs> or a theater. It could be a game, the, the concert, what have you. Right? The Page of Pentacles clarifying that. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same deal as the Knight of Pentacles. Perhaps the Page of Pentacles is uh, tickets to a show or tickets to a game. All right, or if you're going to a birthday party, they will foot the bill or something like that. All right, uh, the next guy you want is the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant uh, could be a Taurus you're dealing with. If this King of Pentacles is a Taurus, it makes total sense, or they have Taurus in their chart. But at the same time, the Hierophant is a very serious card. You know, the, the Hierophant is a card of education, it's a very spiritual card, but most importantly it is a card of um, something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. Perhaps you, they're taking you to uh, somebody's wedding, and uh, at that wedding they will make sure you understand that they also want to marry, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps you're in the same class that, with this person, right? Or you, they're waiting for the next class session, because like I said, the Hierophant is a card of education. But for most of you, this is them just wanting to make sure you understand just how serious they are about you. They want to get serious with you, all right? Hence all these serious cards. The Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles themselves is also serious. We also have Justice in the middle of the potential outcome, surrounded by the Four of Wands and the, the Moon. Justice is a serious card. It's a major kind of card. Could be a Libra you're dealing with, but Justice also is all about, you know, getting serious. All right, uh, doing stuff, doing things by the book. Justice could be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel. Um, justice could be the legal system, because when people get married, they sign a piece of paper, and then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government. The four of ones to the, to the left from uh, justice is another commitment of marriage card. Some people call it the 11-11 card. All right. To me personally, it always reminds me of an actual wedding, but it is one of the commitment of marriage cards. The moon right next to the deck, that's you, Pisces. So you actually decided to show up for your own reading. That's good. You're in your own potential outcome. All right, sitting right next to Justice and the Four of Wands. Okay, yeah, I'm the moon, that's you. And it's always a good sign to have your own major iconic card in your own reading. Yeah, it's a pretty straightforward. The only uh, trick to the story is that what that Three of Cups is. Um, 
the, what they're waiting for. They, and they've been preparing for it, right? They've been patiently waiting for it and they've been patiently preparing for it. So they've got, you expect a big surprise. They will even exceed your expectation. <laughs> All right, really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. Pisces, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, there's spiders for you. We have uh, the Page of Swords uh, with the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Well, it, you guys are either looking to uh, purchase property, um, or you're looking to do something with your finances. You're literally looking, <laughs> alright? You could be looking to remodel your house, and you're like looking at options or something like that the tile for the kitchen or the uh, backsplash for the kitchen, all right? Um, yeah, um, jokes aside, yeah, the Page of Swords, the first card that came out is a card of um, spying, but it's also a card of doing research, all right? The Queen of Cups, the next card over, that's you. I think we all agree with that. <laughs> and then we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. The, both of them are financial cards or real estate cards, right? Um, so yeah, the Ten of Pentacles is a real estate card. It's also a card of a commitment, marriage, it's a card of um, financial abundance, right? And uh, the Ace of Pentacles right next to the deck um, is a golden opportunity card, but at the same time, perhaps you're looking, since this is the last card that came out, perhaps you're looking for where to invest your money or you're looking for an, uh, for like something to buy for your existing home or you're looking for a new apartment or a new house. So you could pay for it. So you could spend uh, the rest of your life there, right? Because the Ace of Pentacles always talks about long term. If we're talking about, um, you know, relationships or marriages, or with the Ace of Pentacles, you're just looking to purchase something. All right. I hope this makes sense. All right. Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces. Uh, in August, keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind Venus will be in retrograde throughout the whole month, and then Mercury will also join. Uh, on the fun, on the retrograde fun, towards the end of August. This is when more X's than usual tend to resurface. So we got two aces, the Ace of Swords, we find by the Ace of Cups, then we have the Magician, the Empress, and the Six of Wands uh, on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Taurus. Uh, Somebody is coming back with a, with like a firm belief and a firm decision to win you back. <laughs> That's what's, what's, that's what's happening. This is like as decisive as it gets, right? Uh, the Ace of Swords is a very decisive card. It's like uh, they're just uh, made up their mind and there's no turning back, right? The Magician is a card of manifestation, but most importantly, it's a card of taking action. And the Magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal, right? So this person is prepared to uh, pull different tricks from you know, from their sleeve to, to get you back. The six of wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of victory, success, it's a card of attention. You definitely have this person's full and undivided attention and they're getting ready to win you back. And uh, the Ace of Cups is gonna find the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's all about love. And uh, those two retrograde planets. <laughs> Right? The ace of, uh, two aces, one clarifying another. This barely ever happens. And I believe the Empress right next to the deck, that's the way they see you, right? Uh, the Empress is somebody who is loved, cherished. The Empress is um, a future wife or future significant other figure. So their, their, their intention is to get serious with you, to, get, to win you back and uh, to marry you per perhaps because the Empress is also a mother figure. Perhaps they want to have children with you if that is still an option for you. The two of you could already have children together. So yeah, prepare yourself. Uh, this person is coming back and uh, they will try really, really hard. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces. Uh, this month we have uh, the King of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, classified by the Chariot. We have the Three of Wands and the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, this King of Swords, it feels like they're choosing you for something. Okay, uh, choosing you to go represent the company, choosing you uh, to promote, choosing you as a, as a new employee or someone they want to do business with, or perhaps if you run your own business, they may choose you as like a vendor or a supplier or something like that. Okay, um, yeah, the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but uh, you know, when it comes to work, business, and finances, the King of Swords knows what he or she wants, right? This is somebody who is very intelligent. Um, they could be um, like cold as ice, <laughs> but um, at the same time, very ambitious and decisive. 
Okay, um, the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, it looks like a card of a choice in this case. Alright, you see how there is three people in the Six of Pentacles. One standing up and two kind of sitting down. I believe the person standing up is the King of Swords. And they're choosing you for something, selecting you for something, right? The Eight of Pentacles classified by the Chariot. Yeah, uh, the Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business and finances. And uh, the Chariot could be a card of victory and success, so you're the winner here. But at the same time, they may choose you to go somewhere. Right, the chariot could also be a card of going somewhere. Um, the three uh, ones right next to the deck, yeah, this decision is final. Because uh, this is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a final decision, and after that there is no turning back. Alright, cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Pisces, for the whole month of August. We have uh, the seven of ones, the moon, the will of fortune, and uh, the ten of ones on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Well, let me let me ex get to the interpretation right away. The Wheel of Fortune, right next to the deck. Um, it's the start of a cycle, all right? An important cycle, right? It's a major arcana card. Uh, something that's going to be around for a while, something new. For some of you, it could be a card of travel or relocation. The Ten of Ones on the bottom of the deck is a card of a difficulty, all right? So I think if you're thinking about starting something, it's not going to be easy, right? With the Ten of Ones, with all those retrogrades also going on, right? However, I believe the uh, Seven of Ones, the first card that came out, is the most important card. This is a card of somebody who is uh, standing their, their ground. This is somebody who is on defense, but they're on active defense, all right? This is a card of somebody who doesn't cave in, somebody who doesn't give up. They keep going, they keep doing it, all right? The moon in the middle, that's you. That's your major arcana card. So, yeah, to sum up, if you are thinking about starting something new, whatever it is, you know, or if you're thinking of going or relocating, it's not going to be easy, but uh, if you keep, keep moving forward, if you stand the course, you will succeed. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, um, that's what I have for you, Pisces, for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe, and other than that, Pisces, have an amazing month.